Hey guys, John here. This is not going to be a full demonstration, but this is my Vactral implementation of the harmonic tremolo. And you can see we've got two of these big black things in there. Um, and I've got a really, really basic um, phase oscillator L um, LFO set up. This isn't what should actually be used in this circuit. <laughs> Please read the thread on DIY stomp boxes or Mad Bean about this. Um, I fried the tap LFO chip that I was going to be using with my build of this circuit, but it requires something more like the Tremulous Loon or um, Shoot the Moon Tremolos. Um, LFO, something that drives the LED and when you turn the depth down it leaves the LED more on. If you turn the depth down on this thing it'll leave the LED more off and it'll just drop the output of the circuit and won't actually um, reduce the depth. Um, so again, this is the wrong LFO, it's just for demonstration purposes. Uh, the basics of the circuit is you've got a little gain stage over here, um, then you've got a uh, tremolo for just the base side of the circuit and then um, and that one's got like a little high cut capacitor sitting right here um, then over here this is the treble side and it's just got like really tiny input and output caps and that handles the treble side um, there's a little bit of crossover so you get some phasing and then we've got a little mode switch here that goes between a harmonic tremolo in the right hand position, this is kind of a fussy switch. Uh, I'll fix that in a minute. Um, the center is for the, a kind of bright boost that helps on lower depth settings. And then over on the left, it's got a full range tremolo. So it'll do both black face and, um, and the uh, brown face or um, blonde tremolo from 1960 to 1964. So here is a very basic um, demonstration of just the sound at pretty much max depth and speed. So I'm starting off in harmonic mode. This is the bright mode. Um, it's going to sound a little bit weirder in, in on a max depth setting, but it's really made to um, keep the treble up when you turn the depth down. And also, it's a little bit more like a vibe setting. Um. <laughs> It's, I think it's also pretty cool that you can play notes up here and just the low strings will have more tremolo applied than the high strings. And here's the full range tremolo. This is um, a really deep sine wave, so it's not it's not a true square wave like in the blackface, but it's pretty close. And if you use um, when you use the proper LFO, for this kind of circuit, you can get um, something much closer to a true square wave. So basically that setting just removes the phasing sound and you get a normal sounding tremolo. So, um, just a couple quick thank yous. Um, Jimmy Photon for inspiring the circuit. I Three days ago I had no idea what the next thing I was going to work on and then I saw a thread of his on DIY stomp boxes um, where he mentioned wanting, a, wanting to build a Vactrol based version of the harmonic tremolo because he wanted something simpler than RG Keen's JFET based design which uses a whopping 11 transistors and I built this. It sounds fantastic um, but I think a lot of people are put off by the complexity of it and it had it did have a few things that needed improvement. He added a new gain stage at the end. Oh, this version actually just uses 10 transistors. Um, uh, but the uh, 
yeah, I mean, it's also got kind of a complicated LFO section down here, and it uses a dual gang pot, which, um, if you want it to be right, you're gonna need kind of a rear pot for that. And um, then there's also some biasing concerns, and you had to match a, a total of four JFETs, um, not as a quad, but just two pairs, and that was that was a lot of work for some people, and some people were kind of put off by that. Um, mine does have a couple draw, it does have one drawback um, in particular, and that's that these back trolls are a little more expensive. You can't just buy the uh, really basic ones from Tata and expect to stick them in the circuit. It, it requires a specific back troll and just pretty much will not work with anything else. But fortunately, the VTL 5C1 is not a rare part. Um, there's plenty of them around. Um, Small Bear carries them. Small Bear also carries a clone of this for like $6, which is not that much more expensive than just getting a good light-dependent resistor and pairing it up with an LED. Um, and also, I tend to get a whole bunch of them at one time from a guy named Apex Jr. up in Canada, so um, Canadians take note, <laughs> he has a really good price on these. Um, so again, thanks for watching, and I will do a full demonstration when I box up some version of this pedal. I'll do I'll do at least one version with, uh, I'll do one version with the basic um, uh, IC based um, LFO, and then I'll probably also do my personal build with the TAP LFO chip um, when I get my new one from Small Bear and have time to build this up. Uh, and that's going to end up on my board to replace the TAP Tempo Tremolo I've got on there already. So again, thanks for watching, and I hope you um, like this circuit enough to consider building it.